If you have a system that uses many microcontrollers and needs to tell each one apart individually, or you are looking to decrease testing time by finding a microcontroller that comes equipped with factory tested calibration values, then today's video will explain how to do both on microchip 8-bit products. Microchips PIC and AVR devices include parts that come with unique identification numbers and various tested calibration values unique to the chip. This information can be accessed through the signature row on certain AVR products and the device information area on newer PIC products. This video will show how to access the DIA on a PIC 18 architecture but includes resources for the other options in the description below. Each microcontroller that includes the DIA is programmed with a specific 6 byte long microchip unique identifier which can be particularly useful for applications where safety and security are important. For instance, if you had to connect to a secure IoT node, the authentication process may include reading this section of memory to verify that the connection is legitimate. The DIA also saves development time by providing factory tested values for the temperature indicator output and the fixed voltage reference value for analog peripherals so you can avoid hours of bench testing and calibration. Before we begin, it is important to note that due to the memory differences between the PIC16 and PIC18 architectures, the method to access each architecture's device information area is slightly different. While this video will use the PIC18 architecture for the example part, written tutorials for both architectures are linked to in the video description. Go ahead and open MCC in the MPLAB Express online IDE. Let's start the Microchip Minutes timer. The only thing we will use MCC for today is to open a UART to display our device area information. Enable transmit and check the box that says redirect STDIO to UART so that we can use the standard IO library and therefore use printf statements. Make sure we output the signal by checking the RC0 box for the TX output of the UART and RX at RC1 for UART inputs. Click generate and open the MPLAB Express online IDE page. Under the first include statement, we are going to add a constant 16-bit value named MyDIA, which is stored at the location of the DIA address value we want to access. To find this address number, we need to take a brief look at the datasheet. Open the PIC18F25K42 datasheet and scroll to the section on the device information area in which we can find table 6-1. This has a list of every memory section and what values that memory section contains. Today, let's access the factory tested value for the analog to digital converter's fixed voltage reference at the one time setting, which will be displayed in millivolts. You can see from the table 6-1 that this is a 16-bit value stored at 3F0030 to 3F0031. Return to the MPLAB Express main.c page and tell the compiler to store our 16-bit constant at 3F0030. By doing this, it will automatically increment to read 3F0031 as well. We want to use a constant here specifically so that the compiler knows exactly what value there is stored at all times and exactly where to look for the stored value, which will ensure accurate reading of the DIA value at all times. The only other thing we need to do is print out the value. In the main loop, write a printf statement that says the value of the fixed voltage reference at one times is percentage %u forward slash n forward slash r and references the MyDIA variable. At this point, we can stop the timer. You can see the results of the read in the scope window shown here. The one times output is 1016 millivolts. If this were a full application, you would now be able to take this value and use it in calibrating the values coming in from the analog to digital converter or other values related to the fixed voltage reference. Thanks for watching. Make sure to ask questions below and subscribe to this playlist and our channel to keep up on the latest and greatest microchip has to offer.